Hi Rebecca, hi Rodney. This is a quick video on how to um, update the basics of the, the new website that we've made. Uh, I will send you a login to the back end of the site. Uh, when you do get logged in, this is what you will be presented with. Uh, down the left hand side here uh, is a menu basically of different parts of the site that you can access. Uh, pretty much the only part that you'll need to come to is this Pages tab right here. So if you click on that, you'll see a list of pages on the website. Now I know one of them that you've already talked about needing to update uh, in the immediate future is this Vendors page. Um, so to do that, obviously you just come right down here and you find the page called Vendors. You click on that. Uh, one thing that this will require you to do is size the logo to a particular size. I've got these at 600 pixels by 600 pixels. Um, if you need some help with that, let me know. Otherwise, that's the basics of it. You just create a Photoshop file that size, um, and you put your, your image in there um, at the size that you need. So in this particular case, you can see um, I've got the image set up at 600 by 600 pixels and then I just put the uh, the logo on here I you know I center it in the space um, and I give it a white background so that it fills out the spot um, some of them require more finessing than others but that's that's the basic idea of the thing so once you've got that then you can um, use it on the back end of the site so you can see now that we're on the page uh, here's the row. You can kind of see a little image and the text that's happening for each one here. Here's the full size and here's the text. Um, if you need to rearrange these things, you can. You can see when I hover over these, uh, it says drag to move. So if I'm here on this part, I can move this above or below the text. I can move it from one row into another. Um, you know, you'll just need to keep track of what goes with what. So if you want to switch lift with geeks who drink, then I would move this over first, maybe move this over. You just want a system for how you do it so that you don't lose track of what goes with which. Well, I guess it's easy enough to figure out. But there would be the basics of that. So you can see right now, Lyft is on the right, Geeks Who Drink is on the left. I've switched it here, but I haven't hit update yet. So if I click this update button, and then I come back over to the live site, and I hit refresh, these two should switch places. And there we go. Lift is on the right, Geeks Who Drink is on the, I mean, Lift is on the left, Geeks Who Drink is on the right now. Um, so that is that as far as moving things around on the page. Um, if you want to make an edit to something, um, say replace an image or update the text, you can see also when I hover over here, we get, there's different options. So um, we can come right here to edit this block. And we're basically just presented with, uh, with some text that we can update. Um, if you're going to copy and paste from somewhere, so let's say you were going to copy and paste from their website their about page, which is what I did, um, and you were going to copy, and when you come back over here, sure that you click this paste as text button because if you don't you'll end up with pulling in their links or you know if they have some text that's a different color or a different font you'll end up pulling that in and you don't want to do that so if you just click this paste as text button first it's going to strip all of that out and keep your fonts consistent on the website um, add links to these I don't know if you do but um, if you wanted say to have this be a link to their website um, well let's talk about whether or not you want to do that because that's a little bit of work uh, let's say you need to add a whole nother row of these guys because um, you've got more vendors coming in and you need uh, another row so um, you can see right over here on the top of this where it says clone this row where it's got like two little pages next to each other if you click that it's going to duplicate it 
So then you would just need to come and replace each one of these images and each one of these text blocks uh, with the new information. So you just come right here, edit single image. You would remove this one and you'd hit the plus sign right here. It would show you the media library. Obviously your new one isn't gonna already be in here. So you would just come to upload files. You'd say select you browse to wherever it was that you have your new logo file. Let's say it's that one, you'd click it. Hit open. Once it appears here with the check mark, you can come right here to the lower right and say set image. And there it is, it's replaced it, we'd say save. And you can now see that that's updated right there. changes. And again, you'd come right over here into the upper right and you'd hit update. Once that's refreshed, you can come to the live site. We can go to the vendors page. And if we scroll down here, we can see that we've got a duplicate row, except this first one has the new logo and the new text. Now, um, obviously, if you've only added one and you've got these extra ones in here, you would just come right down to this row and you would just say, nope, I don't want that, or that, or that. And you just basically delete the stuff that you don't need. And you'd hit update. And same this before, you just refresh the page and you're good to go. Uh, Rebecca, I know you were asking about updating these um, images at the top here. I would rather go ahead and take care of that one for you. So if you've got some swap outs uh, that you want for these banner images, just go ahead and send those over to me and I'll take care of it for you. Uh, if there's anything else you guys need training on, let me know. I think that should get you started pretty well, though. I mean, you have access to all of the um, text on the website. Again, you can come to just, for instance, the food aid page come right down here to any of these items, click on that pencil there in the green menu area, and here's where you would update the text. Uh, I'm gonna call that good for now. Uh, I will be in touch soon, thanks.